Hello and welcome to part 7, the final part before our bonus videos for the Space Invaders game. And for part 7, we're going to be adding different stages to our game. And here's what a stage is. Right now, when we press play, we're immediately thrown into the game because our game is programmed in draw. And draw is the looping function. What if you wanted like a splash screen, a welcome screen that came up saying, hi, welcome to my game, here's how you play. And likewise, what if you wanted a you win screen, a screen that came up when you won, or a you lose screen, a screen that comes up when you lose. So we're going to add different stages, which means that we're going to have separate functions for our game, our splash screen, our win screen, and even down the road, extra levels, lose screens, whatever it was that you wanted to add. So we're going to start by making a counter called stage, which starts at zero. And this is which function should be running right now. We're going to add a couple comments here. Stage zero is splash. Oops. Stage zero equals splash. Stage one equals game. And stage two equals you, or just say win. Okay? And obviously, you can add more stages like a loose screen, level two, whatever you want to do down the road. To start, we need to actually move our game out of function draw. And you could copy the whole thing and paste it into a new function, but that's a lot of code to copy and paste. What I like to do is just rename the draw function. Instead of calling it draw, let's just call it function game. Down here, I'm going to change my close draw to close game. Okay. So now I no longer have a draw function, which of course is bad. You need a draw function. So above function game, we're going to make a new empty function draw. Your game now lives inside a function game. Draw is going to be used exclusively to switch between your stages. So whether it's stage 0 for splash, stage 1 for game, stage 2 for win. So here's what we're going to do. Let's actually go ahead and just place game inside draw like this. Call your functions. And when you do that, if you press play, your game's going to operate exactly like before. What we actually want is for game to play if stage equals equals one. Then we want game to play. If stage equals equals zero, we want splash to play. And if stage equals equals two, we want win to play. Now we haven't actually made splash and win yet. So if we press play, you're going to get an error saying splash does not exist. But if we change our stage up top here to be equal to one in global, we know that game will play because game does exist. Let's go ahead and set this back to zero and let's make our new functions. I'm going to go down before function game, but after function draw, let's make function splash and let's make function win and I'm going to actually steal some code from our game. I'm going to steal the background and I'm going to steal all the way up to the fill 255 green. This is our outer border. I'm going to steal this and I'm going to drop this in splash and I'm going to drop this in win. Now, let's go ahead and put in words for splash. I'm going to go ahead and set our fill to be green. And I'm going to set our font or our text size to be pretty large. Let's say 60. And I also want to actually call my font. So in the last video, we imported multiple fonts. So I want to go ahead and set our text fonts to be, actually, let's do size 40. 60 is pretty huge. 
text size to be 40, and let's say our text font to be our title font, and let's print some text here. I'm gonna say Space Invaders, which is the name of my game, and we can say that it's gonna be the width divided by two by 100, so that's gonna be its position. Let's just see if this works. Beautiful. So Space Invaders, width divided by two, 100, then I'm gonna set my text size to be, let's make it a little bit smaller, let's make it 15. Text font, let's call it body font. Text programmed by Jason Erdreich in 2020. width divided by two, let's just do like 130, 30 pixels down, see what that looks like. Beautiful. Now, I think I'm gonna go back and forth between these two fonts. So, that's my title. I think I'm just gonna copy this code, steal it here. I'm gonna say, how to play, but change my Y position to be, let's say 250. I'm going to steal this code here, and I'm going to just do, you have to do, uh, you can't do multiple lines, so you have to do multiple text commands per line. So I'm just going to put in the instruction on how to play. So press left and right arrows to move, set this to be three, uh, let's do 290. Then next line, let's say press S to fire rockets. Make that 320. Next line, destroy all aliens to win. Let's do 380. And then we need to tell our user how to actually start the game. So, Let's say, click the screen to begin. Let's put that way down, 450. Uh, actually, this is supposed to be 350. Oops, 350. Let's press play. Perfect. Now, when I click the screen, we don't actually begin. So we need to say something to actually exit stage zero and enter stage one, our game. And that's gonna go up here and draw. We're gonna just do a mouse press. So if, if mouse is pressed, that means that you clicked your mouse or you clicked your screen if you're on a touch screen, equals equals true, stage equals one. Close, start, game, on, click. Let's see if that works. Look at that. Now, we gotta set up our windscreen. So we've already taken some code here. I'm just gonna go ahead and steal these lines of code and drop this into our wind function. All right, so I'll just change my comment here real quick. This is words for win. Title font, let's change space evaders to be victory. And body fonts, we can say Refresh to play again. And I think I'm just gonna move this down a bit. Let's make this 200 and let's make this 230. Okay, now to test this out, we actually have to make our windscreen work here, or I guess we could just type in stage two to see what that looks like. Let's just make stage equal to two. Awesome, I think I'm gonna change the color up a little bit. I think I'm gonna make my windscreen opposite color. So I'm gonna make my text zero and my background green. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that better. And we'll make our stroke zero.
perfect. Now, we actually want the windscreen to actually work when we win, so that means that we fired our aliens. Now, there's only one alien, so that means that our score has to be equal to one. I'm just gonna set my stage back to zero. Our score has to be equal to one in order to win. Let's drop that at the very bottom of our game. So, we're gonna go below our status bar here. Exiting stages. If score is greater than or equal to one, then stage equals two. Close, max score, so you win. Let's give this a shot. We have our game start, we click, we come on over, and we win. Now, we can even add a little sound effect here. Let's add some more sound effects, which we learned how to do in our last video. Uh, I believe I already have some sounds uploaded for when I start my game called charge and when we win called 8-bit win. So I'm just going to add two more sound effects here. So var start sound and var win sound. Let's go down to our function preload to make those actually mean something. Start sound is going to be equal to load sounds 8 bits underscore charge dot m4a and win sound is going to equal load sound 8 bit underscore win dot m4a and let's just drop those in at the right spot so our win sound is gonna go right when we change our stage. Win sound dot play. And our start sound is gonna go right when we change our stage. So that's gonna go up in our draw function here. When mouse is pressed is true. Start sound dot play. Let's give those a try. Perfect. Excellent. There's your stages. And like I mentioned, in later videos, we learn how to add more players, uh, lies where things fire back at you, and then that could lead to more stages, more sound effects.